seen you before. Name's Bernard. Tarnished, just like you. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? Yes, you're a tarnished through and through. Takes me back. That's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on. To a good and proper tarnished, like you. There's a myriad of battle arts in these lands that I've yet to discover. Mementos of all the warriors who raised their arms in battle. Lost and died. A fine tale, all told of true chivalric romance. That's how I fell in love with the sword. And the arts of combat. It grants meaning even to falling in battle. To death itself. in your boat, eh? Well, there's no rush. Knowledge of the arts can wait another day. Stars, I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, 
Can you help me out of this? My thanks. A thousand thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear with something nice and big. And I'll pop clean out, I'm sure. Don't dally. No, there's no need to fret. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. Don't stop now, friend. Just keep clobbering away. Put those doubts to rest. I'll be just by. Give it your all. Ah. Well played, good lady. Well played. Though that mighty wallop of yours almost spelled the end of me. <laughs> Ah, well, I'm out now, and that's what counts. I thank you. And as a token of my appreciation, I'd like you to have this. Once again, pleasure is mine. I am the warrior jar known as Alexander. Iron Fist Alexander. I journey to the east, where I intend to further my education in the ways of war. And beyond these lands lie the scarlet, rot-blighted Kalid Wilds. And upon their southern edge is Redmain Castle, in which a festival of combat is being held. I'd heard whispers of such festivities before. Doesn't the notion set your breast a flutter? <laughs> I'm heading eastward to Redmain Castle on the southern edge of the scarlet, rot-blighted Kalid Wilds. I've heard there's to be a festival held there. I'm heading to Redmain. I've heard. Yeah, my, I, terribly sorry. Uh, are you here as a customer? I, 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 I'm afraid I've very little to offer.
Who goes there? Kali sent you, did he? Never the bloody busybody. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Daryl. He fled somewhere nearby. Or so I've heard. Come tell me if you find him before I do. I can offer you ample reward. Darrowell is nothing but a traitor, and in need of a fitting end to his tale. Darrowell is and in need of. Darrowell is and in need of a. Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height, servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Oh, Ertree, grant me succor! Ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's... that's very kind, but, um... No. No, the help is very much appreciated, even from a tarnished. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me, Kenneth Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave. Young tarnished, I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it. A fool and plumb mad to boot. Simply obsessed with blood. What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye? My fort lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. Take it back for me. Oh, I see. You wish to know the reward? Fret not. The great Kenneth Height is known for his considerable largesse. The celebrations will be lavish indeed upon the dawn of my fort's retrieval. Hmm, yes, now allow me to furnish you with a little advice. I would take great care to avoid Godric's tarnished hunts were I in your shoes. That depraved lot are obsessed with sacrificing tarnished like you for the sake of grafting. Honestly, Godric's nothing more than a jumped up country bumpkin. Lord? Oh, don't make me laugh. First, he hid himself amongst the women folk to flee the capital, then hid from Radan in that castle. Then he insulted Melania, lost to her in battle, only to lick her boots rather than die like a man. <laughs> Does he no shame, the big girl's blouse? And to think, he's the blood of Godfrey, last of the golden lineage. Though you almost wouldn't know it to look at him. Yeah. I almost feel sorry for the chap the more I think of it. What are you waiting for? My fort. What are you waiting? My fort.
waiting for you with bated breath. Did you manage to recapture my fort? Oh, excellent views, just wonderful. And the knight's dead to boot. Well done, my friend, well done indeed. I knew I was right to trust you. Now, here's your reward, as promised. Go ahead, it's all yours. Right then, time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to re-establish communication with the Demi-Humans. What's that look? You don't believe me? Well, under the Earth Tree, co-mingling with the Demi-Humans is made possible. Even the Volga shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. Ah, yes. Uh, I've been meaning to ask, would you like to enter my service? I see bright things in your future, stout warrior. Enter into my service and learn the workings of the Erd Tree's true order. And who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold will return to those tarnished eyes of yours. What say you? A fine accord, is it not? Very well, very well indeed. I knew I saw something in you. I shall await you at my fort. We shall hold a ceremony for your knighting there, I think. I see great things ahead of us. We are truly by the Erd Tree blessed. Right then, time for me to head to the fort. I've much. Right then, I've much. There you are. Shall we commence the lap? Ah, <sighs> is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. draws upon the powers embedded in Glinstone. But what is the nature of such power? Glinstone is the amber of the cosmos. Golden amber contains the remnants of ancient life and houses its vitality, while Glinstone contains residual life and thus the vitality of the stars. It should not be forgotten that Glinstone sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein, a fact lost on most sorcerers these days. Uh. 